this video, we're going to create a script for our Google Sheet that automatically sorts a data set based on the background color of the cell. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a data set of different project numbers and you can see some of them are shaded in yellow and when I shade a project in yellow that means I want it sorted by that background color so I have a script menu item here up top that I added and when I run this sort by background color it will automatically sort this data set by the background color so the first thing we want to do is get into the app script editor window. You can do that by going to extensions and then app script. We're going to call this function sort by color. And we're going to begin by declaring some variables. The first variable is going to be called ss for spreadsheet. So that's going to be equal to the spreadsheet application and then get active spreadsheet to get the one we're in now we're gonna have a variable called sheet that is gonna be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then get sheet by name the name of the sheet that we want to sort on is called sheet one we're going to have a variable called last row and this is just going to represent how many rows we want to go down for our range that we're going to reference to sort on. So this is going to be equal to our sheet variable and then we're going to use the get last row method. So this will return the last row that contains values in our data set which right now that is 15 but we don't want to include our header in our sort so we're going to subtract one from that we're going to have a variable called colors and this is just going to be an array variable that holds the codes of the colors in any one of our four columns so i'm just going to pick column one so we're going to use the get range method and the first input is our beginning row number so this is going to be the begin point of our sort range eventually so we want to begin on row two we want to begin in column one and then for the number of rows we want to go down we want to insert our last row variable and the number of columns we want to go across is just one because we're just going to look at one single column and then we're going to get the background colors or get backgrounds method I should say which returns the background colors so for now what I want to do is log out this colors variable So you can see what this variable holds in it. So you can see we have no colors here in our first column and then down here in the last six slots we have yellow shading. So I'm going to click run. I'm going to have to authorize this script. So it's just going to take a second because I'm recording the screen. So I'm going to click review permissions, click on the Google account I'm using, go to advanced, click on the project. It's untitled right now. I'm going to click allow. So we told it to log out our colors variable so you can see everything that is has no shading has this particular color code and then everything else that has shading has this color code so what we're gonna do to be able to sort by background color is 
add this array to the next available blank column next to our data. So we're going to write those background color codes over here and then sort this entire data region on this last column that we add and then once the sort is complete we're going to delete this column out. So now I'm going to get rid of this and we're going to create a new variable called last column and this is just going to represent the first available blank column right after our last column that contains values where we want to write those color codes to. So this is going to be equal to our sheet variable and then we're going to use the get last column method which will return the last column that contains values and as I said we want the next available blank column so we're going to add one to that And then what we want to do is with our sheet variable get the range and we want to begin on row 2 for our beginning row point. For our beginning column point we want to reference our last column because we want to get the first available blank column. The number of rows we want to go down is our last row variable and the number of columns we want to go across is just one. So we're going to set the values of that blank column to our colors array variable. So this will add that array of colors here and then we're going to perform a sort of our entire data set based on this new range of color values. So we're going to create a variable called sort range, which just holds the range that we want to sort. So that's going to be equal to our sheet variable and then get range. We're going to begin in row two, begin in column one. We want to go down to our last row variable. and we want to go across all the way to our last column variable so then at this point we want to reference our sort range and then we want to use the sort method and here the syntax requires a set of brackets and then inside the brackets is a set of curly brackets and we're going to reference keyword column to reference the column we want to sort we're going to refer to our last column variable we're going to add a comma and then we're going to indicate whether or not we want to sort ascending. In this case, we want our shaded colors to be on the bottom, so we want to sort descending, so we're going to say false here. And then once that sort is complete, what we want to do is delete that last column where we wrote those color codes to because we don't want it displayed. So we're going to reference our sheet variable, get range, row 2, we're going to reference our last column as our begin point. We want to go down all the way to our last row variable and we want to go across one column. We want to use the delete sales met method and the required syntax here is spreadsheet application and then we want to specify the dimension we want here and in this case our dimension is going to be columns. So I'll go ahead and save this. I'll go ahead and highlight some of these other cells 
or rows I should say and what we should see when we run this is all of the yellow shade gets sorted to the bottom in descending order and there it is so now the final thing we want to do is just add a script menu item where we can run this sort straight from our menu up here so to do that what we need to do is add a second function and use the built-in on open function which runs a function that you specify anytime the spreadsheet is opened. So we're going to declare a variable called UI which is short for user interface. We're going to reference the spreadsheet application and this time we want to get UI which is the user interface with our UI variable one of the parameters we can use is create menu and that's what we want so it has really one input the string for the name of the menu so we'll just call this scripts we're going to add an item to it because we want to add a menu item. So this has two inputs, both in single quotes. The first input is just the name of the menu item. So we'll just call this sort on background then comma and then the next item is the script that we want to run well the name of our script that we want to run for this menu item is our sort by color function so that needs to be enclosed in single quotes also and then finally we want to add this to our user interface so add to UI method so I'm gonna hit save here and when I go back what you need to do is refresh your screen and it may take a couple of seconds but eventually what you should see up top here is this new menu item pop up and there it is just took a few seconds so now what I'm gonna do is maybe unhighlight some of these and just pick some items at random to shade and then when I run this you can see everything gets sorted based on the background color well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to hit that subscribe button